I'm Brittany, this is John, and welcome to Gay Watch, where we watch gay things. Today we start season three of Hannibal, where if you thought the show has gotten gay, you haven't seen a single thing yet. And this is coming from a woman who literally doesn't really remember anything about season three except for the final scene. Again. It's real easy to remember where we left off in season two because everyone's fucking dying. Everyone's dying. Alana's, you know, got thrown out a window. Uh, Will got, you know, gutted by his husband. Abigail got her throat slit. Uh, Jack is back in the pantry bleeding out from a hole in his neck. Am I missing anybody? Well, Hannibal got off scot-free, like Hannibal is wont to do, and took um, took Demorier with him. And yeah, that's I think that's I think that's just about everybody. Everybody's dying. Everybody's dying. There's an overarching serial killer in this one for at least part of the season. He comes back. We see, I remember we see a lot of him, or maybe he just felt that way because actually this guy's appearance or presence in the show is actually the only complaint I remember having about the show. I didn't like it that much for reasons that I will lightly mention when we get there. But fortunately, it wasn't nearly enough to really, like, hamper my enjoyment of the show. Like, season three is still fantastic from what my subconscious tells me. So we are going to dive right in. We're going to jump right in. We're going to wade into all of the blood that was left over at the end of season two and see exactly who lives, who dies, who tells our story, all that jazz. So let's, let's fucking go. Oh, we're in Paris. Foreboding music needs to calm down. If they put Hannibal on the back of a motorcycle, Hannibal would fuck off to Paris. In fact, that would be like the first place I looked. Like he's shit at hiding. I'd be like, gee, where would Hannibal run off to to hide? I would look all over France and I would look all over Italy. Watch it not even be him. Nope, see, I was right. God damn it, they put him on the back of a motorcycle. That's not fair. They gave him kind of must hair and a motorcycle jacket. That's not fair. Is he out shopping for another murder husband? What is this? One can appreciate another's work without dissecting them. So on occasion, dissection was the only thing that was used. And we're back! Welcome to Hannibal, everybody! It's the first montage of the season. Ooh, that close-up. They're really showing off with the camera work. Holy hell. Who are you? Oh, not your husband. Ooh, ooh, oh, God! This isn't cannibalism, April. It's only cannibalism. Oh, fucking wow! Holy shit! You just feel his... And I will not deny his language is... admirable. Thank you, Prostraniero. That wasn't his language you were looking at, sir. I think not. Dr. Trail might hold in his hand in his mom. Hate to love? 200k? Slow burn? Stupid beautiful shot. Jesus, god damn, look at that room. That is a gorgeous ass motherfucking dress. Oh. Yeah, did anybody fucking listen to her? No, now we're all dying at Hannibal's place. You know, the rain scene was already mean, all right? Didn't need didn't need. I miss you. You see. Is there no position to ask for Dr. Dwayne? Would have felt a lot better if his husband yeah, hadn't betrayed him afterwards. This show is so fucking gorgeously captured. I cannot fucking get over it. 
Yeah. Here I was, and then there you were. Oh and shit, that's right. He knows who he's what not. Spare the piss for the time being. What? Did, sure. Yeah, you want you you want to come over and let me cover my tracks? Whoa! You gotta warn a girl before you do a close up of snails. Wow. 